today's video is about hits and misses from the drugstore. I feel like the, the uh, spring launch was huge this year for the drugstore. I mean, I feel like everyone launched something good and then maybe a couple of products that weren't so great. But I feel like across the board, pretty much every drugstore brand has something awesome that came out this spring, which is, you know, it's rare, but it's, it's great for us, you know, for those of us who love um, makeup. But yeah, so that's what this video is about. I have a lot of products to get to, so it might be, who's texting me? So this um, video, you know, it might be a bit of a long one, so you may want to a, grab a drink, maybe a snack, and settle in. Okay, so the first product that I'm going to talk about, I, I believe I have mentioned these a couple of times before. I know that they were featured in my monthly favorites video, but I love them. These are the newly formulated, I just say that again, these are the newly formulated blushes from Wet n Wild. There are three shades that are currently out, and I did swatch them for you. These are awesome. So the colors are Champagne Rose. Pearlescent pink and mellow wine. I do have mellow wine on my cheeks It's one of my favorites mellow wine is the only blush that is truly matte so um, I would say champagne rose champagne is more more of a satin and um, Pearlescent pink definitely has some sheen to it. So it actually kind of reminds me a lot of the NARS orgasm It has that really pretty gold undertone going through it really really pretty. These are $2.99 at the drugstore. Can we say holla? Yeah, $2.99 really great formula very long wearing I have been telling all my girlfriends about them uh, Because they're that good. So yeah, go wet and wild All right I won't stay here long because you guys know that I love this. It was featured in my favorites video. I have um, a, a review and demo on this. I will link it below if you're interested. The L'Oreal True Match Lumi Cushion is bomb.com. I absolutely love it. It's by far my favorite foundation from the drugstore so far, or thus far, should I say. All right, moving on. L'Oreal, I feel like, has quite a few products um, for the win this time around. Another product that I've been loving from L'Oreal, um, another another thing from the Infallible line. The Infallible line currently is one of my favorite lines from L'Oreal. I feel like it can do no wrong. And these are the um, Pro Matte Lip Glosses. I do have four shades. Um, my favorite shade by far is probably Shanghai Scarlet. This is such a beautiful orange toned red. Um, I absolutely love it. The, the uh, four shades that I have are Rouge Envy, Forbidden Kiss, Nude Allude, and Shanghai Scarlet. These are really gorgeous. They go on, they have a bit of a sheen, like a gloss, but as they wear, they will turn to a complete matte. They do not set all the way, but they will mattify, and then when they're gone, they will leave a beautiful um, stain on your lips. But I absolutely love this formula. Um, they will dry your lips out just a, a tad, so I would, um, before planning on wearing these, I would <clears throat> put on a balm to keep your lips moisturized, and then when you're done wearing them, also put on a balm to rehydrate. All right, continuing with the L'Oreal, because we are on a roll. Um, I have been loving the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Contour. Now, I don't love all of them from this line. This is the light. Um, I feel like the medium and the dark, the contours are too warm toned for me. Um, this is the lightest shade, but this for me is also the coolest contour powder in my opinion. Um, it's a little on the, on the light side, but it can be built up rather easily. I did use it to contour, and I feel like my contour is on point. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the yellow highlight. It just doesn't wow me at all. The powder is super finely milled and nice and buttery, but for highlighting purposes, I would much rather you know, reach for something else. But the contour powder itself is awesome. Now, I do... The concept, I don't have a little brush with me, unfortunately, I don't know what I did with it. I probably looked at it and was like, what the hell, and threw it away. But the, the, the concept behind this was that you would take that brush and you would swoop them together, and then you would contour and highlight simultaneously. I don't know who came up with that concept. It was probably a man, because no woman contours and highlights like that. Sorry, the concept is silly. But 
I really do enjoy this contour powder. It is very cool toned. It works really well for creating a shadow. It's really finely milled. So um, I do enjoy that from this line. The problem is if you are too many shades darker than me, the light won't work for you. And I don't feel that the medium or the dark are cool enough to contour. So really, you know, it's a hit or miss. It works for me and I enjoy it, but I'm very pale. And um, so if you're much darker than I am, it probably won't work for you. But if you are my shade and lighter, then it will. So let me just throw that out there. Um, one thing that I have been loving from Rimmel, this is the new Magnify Eyes Intense True Color Long Lasting um, Stick. And it comes, there is an eyeshadow stick on one end and then an eye coal on the other. But I have been loving this. I actually used it for my, my shadow today on my eye look. This is such a gorgeous shade. When I purchased it, I was like, oh, I can do so many cool things with that. And then I was like, wait a second, what can I do with that? So I actually created this eye look around this dark shadow because I was like, I'm sure I can create something cool. And sure enough, I created an eye look that I absolutely love using this gorgeous chocolatey bronze color. Really, really pretty. I actually want to go back and get a couple more colors because I think the colors were really, really um, unique and fun. Staying with eyes, L'Oreal, the Brow Silas Definer. This is in Brunette. I love this. I featured it in my favorites video so you guys know how much I love it. This is the only thing that I've been using on my eyebrows and I feel like my eyebrows are pretty on point. Um, it, you know, it reminds me a lot of the Anastasia of Beverly Hill Brow Wiz. It's a very, very fine tipped eye pencil. Um, I think that it works beautifully. I have no complaints. My brows stay in place. They look good. Love this. This is the first eye pencil from the drugstore that I can actually say that I love. Go L'Oreal. All right. Let's talk about some Maybelline. So Maybelline came out with the Master Precise Skinny Gel Pencils. These are awesome. Once again, featured in my favorites video because I love them. This is my favorite tight lining gel pencil. Like, you can get all up in here and tight line no problem. If you um, see me with a smoked out eye, tight lined eye, this is what I've been using. I have all three shades. They have a brown, a black, and a gray, and I own them all, and they're all beautiful, and they work easily. They, they're long wearing. They will stay in my waterline and look gorgeous. Um, yeah, the, what I did find though that um, with the brown, as I got to the bottom of the gel liner, um, it started to crumble a little bit, so make sure that you don't let it dry out. Keep the cap on. Um, I think I may have forgot to put the cap on, but um, yeah, really great product. Love it. All right, so now we are going to talk about some products that I'm like, eh, uh, I don't love them, I don't hate them, but I probably wouldn't repurchase. So we are going to start with something from Neutrogena. This is the Healthy Skin Anti-Aging Perfector. Light to Neutral 30 Moisturizing Retinol Treatment with SPF 20. Okay, so I don't love this. I don't hate this. It's just kind of like a tinted moisturizer, pretty much. Um, it doesn't give much color or much coverage. It's very lightweight. I mean, it looks nice on the skin. It will give just a little bit of um, a healthy glow to the skin. But all in all, I would much rather wear a BB or a CC cream where I get other benefits. So it does say that it has retinol in it, but I feel like the retinol isn't, um, it isn't significant enough to do anything for your skin. I prefer to use my retinol at night where I'm not going to be in the sun because it does make your, sin, your um, skin sensitive. So all in all, I would say skip this, go for a BB or a CC cream that give you more benefits. Um, that's just my two cents. Don't love it, don't hate it, wouldn't repurchase it though. Moving on, we're gonna talk about the Maybelline Color Tattoo um, Chubby Sticks. So, I feel like this formula is different than the pod formula. The pods, um, they're not as pigmented as the original formula. I don't know what they changed when they put it into a stick form, but I'm not wowed. Um, you know, I'm just, I'm not wowed. I wouldn't repurchase these. 
Um, I feel like I have other eyeliners that could do pretty much what these can do. I'm not a huge fan. I don't hate them, but I definitely wouldn't repurchase them. So that's how I feel about that. Moving on, we're going to talk about something from Wet n Wild. This is the Megalo Illuminating Palette. This thing is massive. This is in the shade Catwalk Pink, and it is massive. You get a lot of product. I don't love this, nor do I hate this product. Um, I find that the colors are really, really pretty. You could even use some of these colors individually as blushes, and then the others as toppers for highlight. All in all, I feel like it's just too chunky of a highlight for me. I would not recommend this for mature skin, and I also feel like it kind of accentuates my pores just a little bit, um, which I don't really love. But I could definitely see using some of these as eyeshadows because they're very, very pretty in shape. Like, the colors are really pretty. Um, so I will give that to Wet n Wild. They're really powdery, and there's a lot of fallout, but the shades are quite pretty. But all in all, I wouldn't repurchase it again. I don't hate it. I don't love it. Um, another thing from Wet n Wild is the uh, contouring palette. Um, I feel like this is not as cool toned as the L'Oreal palette. Still pretty. Um, I really like the matte yellow, though, highlight, because it is matte. It's buttery, um, and I can use the matte yellow for more things than just contouring and highlighting, especially under my eyes where I need a little bit of correcting. Um, these also have a lot of fallout, but the powder is nicely milled, so I will give Wet n Wild that. All right, let's move on to products that I do not like. Like, when I say do not like, I mean I do not like these products. Starting out with Maybelline, the Vivid Matte um, Liquid Colors are horrible. These things draw, it's like the Mojave Desert of lipsticks. That's how bad these things dry my lips out. I find that the colors, the bright colors, are super patchy, and I'm just not a fan. Um, I do not enjoy wearing these. I do not like the formula. I would definitely go with the L'Oreal formula if you're looking for a matte liquid lipstick from the drugstore. These aren't it. Heck, I would even take the NYX Suede, what is it, the... The NYX Liquid Suede's are, are 100 times better than these things. So go with the NYX, go with the L'Oreal, skip these puppies. That's how I feel about that. All right, another product from Maybelline. This is the Master Prime Long Lasting Eyeshadow Base. This is the oiliest eyeshadow base. I do not understand why it is the way that it is. I just don't understand this concept. Um, it does not prolong my makeup at all, and it feels so oily and gross on my eyelids. I don't have oily eyelids, but I get creasing with this, which is weird because I don't normally have that problem ever. So, sorry, not a fan. Not that I'm picking on Maybelline, because I'm not. Um, up next is a primer from Physicians Formula. This is the um, Primer Argan Wear Argan Oil with Coconut Water primer. I'm not a fan of this stuff. Um, okay, so I do not like the smell, first off. If it smelled like coconuts, I'd be like, okay. Um, but I don't feel that this does anything for my makeup. It doesn't make it, it doesn't make it last any longer. I, I can't even say that, I mean, it does nothing for me. It is, it's not like the Smashbox primer water where you feel the tackiness on your skin where the main ingredient is glycerin it's gonna make your makeup stick to your face and last all day it does not with this um, I had a subscriber ask me if I had been enjoying this not at all sorry um, not not a fan if it works for you keep continue to use it but I not a fan I don't like the way that my makeup looks on top of it I just there's nothing about it that I like all right, so this might upset some people, but I cannot help it. I do not like these. Um, from Wet n Wild, the new One Step Gel Polishes. I have super oily nail beds, and I cannot get these polishes to last even a day without chipping on me. The colors are gorgeous. I have three shades, and they're so pretty, but they won't last on my fingers. It's so frustrating. Um, Stay Classy is one of my favorites. It's a neutral. I, I wish I didn't have oily nail beds and polish could stay forever on my fingers, but it doesn't work out that way, unfortunately. 
All right, we are coming in the home stretch. Last but not least, um, from Wet n Wild, the new Fergie Velvet Matte Lip Colors. First and foremost, this it likes to fall out of its packaging. The crayon is stuck in the lid, and you somehow have to get it back in the packaging. Yeah. There we go. Okay, well that's super frustrating because clearly it broke off. But the problem that I have with these, these are super patchy upon application. And I'm talking like, I, I don't have that many fine lines in my lips to, for it to skip as many times as it skipped. And it just, it, it's just going to the trash. Like that's how I feel about it. Um, the lighter shades are even worse on the patchiness than the darker shades. But once again, um, you know, I had two of the three that I purchased aren't even in their little packaging and that's so frustrating. So I would definitely say if you see these, pass on them. Um, I didn't even find the shades that unique to make me want to purchase more. Um, I just, I'm not a fan. So I would say save your money and find something else. Okay, so I feel like we covered a lot. I do have some individual reviews coming on some other um, products from the drugstore that I like and that I don't like. Um, but yeah, can't say enough good things about the L'Oreal lines, fantastic. Um, the Wet n Wild blushes I'm in love with. The Maybelline Skinny Eyeliner, impeccable. So yeah, we do have a lot of good stuff happening from the drugstore, and there's just a lot that I don't like. Um, just because I don't like it and it doesn't work for me doesn't mean that it won't work for you. If you like some of these, let me know what you're doing to make them work for you. I'm always interested. But it could be, you know, skin tone and, you know, you know, what your skin type is. So not all makeup will work for everyone. These are just some products that I don't personally like. So, yeah. Take it with a grain of salt, guys. Um, I, I hope I haven't seemed too, like, irritated or, or jittery in this video. I've had hives for six days now and they won't go away. Nobody can tell me why, what I'm allergic to. So we're doing all these like testing of stuff and I'm so itchy right now. It's driving me nuts. Um, but I'm focusing on filming because you must film. But I mean, my hives are starting to spread now and it's so frustrating. But I got through this video. You guys got through with me. And until next time, bye.